I had a stroke back in February with left side weakness and um, I'm getting movement in all of the joints in my hand and my arm, uh, but I don't have fine motor control. Now, uh, Martha, just as a point of clarification, are you um, saying that you had a stroke back in February of 2021? Uh, 2021. Okay, okay, very good. Just wanna make sure that. Uh, and so you said you're having some trouble, I guess, um, it sounds like recovery has been fairly good for you so far, but having um, some residual fine motor impairments. Yes, my hand is um, trying to curl. Um, the little fingers curling toward my thumb and um, my middle fingers are just pointing. Sure, sure. Um, and I don't mean to laugh. I just, I've seen this many times and um, people have a little uh, joke at this. And I've, um, I've had some chronic stroke survivors that I've, I've worked with in the past have um, used that to their amusement. Um, yes, you, I you can. Know what I mean. <laughs> yes, <laughs> I do. I mean. <laughs> um, so it's just it's bringing back some uh, really funny memories of, of working with some stroke survivors and how they would occasionally greet me. <laughs> so uh, <laughs> as, as, a, as a bit of a joke. So very much, uh, very much appreciating that. So it's a good question. And I think um, a couple of things. One, we need to um, really make sure that you're going to avoid the contracture route. Right, contractures mm -hmm. can be real big problem because uh, once you kind of get down to that path, you know, there's really only one way out of that, and that's surgical intervention. So surgical intervention that is. So we want to really avoid that if at all possible. No, we're not doing any more surgery on this poor old body. <laughs> sure, sure. No, that's and that's totally fine. Um, but it's just it's one of these things I like to provide some information for people. So it's one of those reasons why I really encourage uh, movement uh, because it really does help avoid. Um, that path of contracture. Um, so, and I think with respect to fine motor skills, it's, um, it's, it's a little bit interesting that we do see improvements there. Um, because, you know, if you've seen the device move, it moves about the wrist and the hand, right? Mm -hmm. It seems like it's maybe a bit of a simple sort of movement pattern, and indeed it is. Um, but what's rather surprising is that those movements um, are actually the same sort of movements that are required, or actually the same muscles specifically that actually are required for you to do fine motor skills. Um, and so these are called extrinsic finger flexors and extensors. And these are the ones that actually control not only our wrist movements, but also our, our fine motor skills as well. Okay. Uh, and I, can, I can kind of encourage you to do this on your, um, your stronger side. Go ahead and actually just try to do this really quickly. You can do it with me where you have your one hand. If you were to raise up and go down, and you put your hand on your um, the outside of your elbow here or the inside of your elbow for flexors. And if you raise your whole hand up, you'll feel those muscles contract. Yes, but I now, did. Similar, yes, yeah, similar though, go ahead and wiggle your fingers, right? You'll feel those same muscles are activating. So those same ones work together to work not only about the wrist, but also the individual fingers. Okay. And, and so truth be told, when we actually did these clinical trials, we did see improvements in fine motor skills. And um, this really just comes down to two things. One, the one I just kind of described to you, and that is they're the same muscles. But the other one is that on the motor control side, the way that the brain is kind of operating, we do get this carryover effect into fine motor skills, even though when we're working on this, maybe this gross motor function. And so we do see some, some nice improvements there. And um, I think it's, of course, important to mention that, you know, the, the foundations that you build with a motor's hand, of course, need to be translated to the specific skill that you want. Um, but it can help you gain those capacities to have better fine motor control. 